Yeah, that's right. This is the uh, it's the second comedy uh, which uh, the Netherlands are delivering uh, into the world. Yes, it's it's right indeed, and this is uh, ridiculous because uh, uh, the Netherlands belong to the Schengen uh, Agreement we have in Europe. So there are no border controls, nothing we can. And it's a it's a basic law to move where you want in Europe. So right now they try to prevent him or uh, uh, <laughs> to leave the country. And we even ask ourselves which country, because he is Dutch, but he's living in Germany. So which country country he shouldn't leave uh, uh, in the future? And it's uh, it's uh, a big question, I think, that um, somebody who's uh, just traveling, like a journalist with me, just uh, traveling on the border to the border, just to inform ourselves there what is going on with the civil um, uh, this civil border patrols, that somebody like that should be. Uh, uh, prohibited to leave the country, but other people who are leaving the country to go to Syria or wherever uh, to join ISIS, uh, they can travel, they are allowed to travel, uh, and this is ridiculous. It's unbelievable. Of course not. Of course not. These uh, no border, no nation ideologists, uh, um, <laughs> They they um, they are uh, more or less uh, in in our countries here in the Western Europe uh, countries they are leftists they are greens and they are allowed almost anything. Uh, we have seen it on Monday. We had a rally and uh, a manifestation in Leipzig, and, um, and the, the 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 leading green politician uh, in in uh, Saxony. This is the region here uh, we are in Germany right now. Um, he even uh, uh, pushes the Antifa, and he um, he's a lawyer, by the way, and he uh, he um, uh, he uh, published uh, our addresses, and he published um, he, he's pushing uh, aggressiveness against these people who are demonstrating at a legida, which is means uh, against Islamization of uh, the 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 Western um, countries and cultures. So the leftists are holy some kind. Uh, they can do what they want. And um, uh, but the people who are freedom lovers like we and the people who want to prevent uh, Islamization of Europe, um, they are restricted and they are punished um, uh, in, in even absurd manners. Oh, there's a lot. Even the Minister of Justice um, uh, uh, was uh, telling the public that I, uh, I, I, ha I have done a call for murder because I said in an interview uh, that uh, if these invaders come uh, into our illegal, illegal into our country, um, people or persons who are not refugees, real refugee, refugees, um, at, uh, at the last, uh, the last means has to be to use a weapon, of course, because uh, the border police. Uh, why are they wearing uh, weapons? So, uh, of course, if you are if you are being serious with protecting your own borders, you have to uh, use a weapon as the last, the very last means or tool. And this was uh, uh, the minister of justice. He he was um, uh, he was upset ab absolutely about this um, this thought and uh, this um, sentence. But also our minister for internal affairs. Um, they tried to punish me with a, uh, uh, how do you call it? I had a lot of demands to come, come to court and um, uh, law, uh, law repre uh, repression against me, but uh, finally they didn't work. So, um, but they try and they try, for example, um, the... Uh, uh, our Minister of Justice, he is um, uh, the biggest Facebook controller. Uh, from today, for example, I'm again blocked for 30 days on Facebook. 
uh, which is my most important uh, possibility to, to, to communicate and to inform uh, because of my profile picture, because it showed me with this, um, um, well, this uh, uniform <laughs> and, they, um, uh, and it had over 900 likes. But um, they um, blocked me because of this photo, and they cancelled the picture. So um, these are some some several um, examples for punishment uh, by our government against opposites um, um, uh, against the uh, yeah the people who are in a resistance movement. Yes, of course. Uh, it's a, it's a, for in my opinion, it's a kind of perfect blueprint. Um, uh, there are people because in in Bulgaria the problem is they don't have, um, as I heard, uh, they don't have enough border police. So um, and even the prime minister was very glad when uh, these civil um, troops, uh, these volunteers, started uh, to show presence. They 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 don't do anything else. They 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 are present in the uh, in the in the area. Um, some kilometers behind the real border, and um, only this uh, protects uh, the, these or uh, prevents these big um, um, invader <laughs> uh, um, uh, masses to to use this route uh, through the the woods of uh, Bulgaria. And it is one of the big, uh, the two big entrance gates into Europe. Uh, the one is Sicily, is it in Italy? Um, there are, are coming the all the Africans, and um, the other one is because, especially because of the EU Turkey deal, is of course Turkey. And you have in Turkey, you have uh, some kind of uh, smuggling, uh, trafficking mafia. And uh, uh, the things we found in the woods, um, these is brand new clothes, for example, um, with labels on it and, and price uh, pl price labels on it. Um, and we found a lot of medic medic medicine. Uh, we found a lot of um, uh, cans and, and stuff to eat. And Red Bull, this is uh, absolutely the most preferred brand of these uh, people. And of course, uh, the most in uh, interesting um, thing we found was one backpack with uh, um, papers, with passport pictures, uh, Quran, uh, Quran um, quotes, and uh, a big block of uh, raw opium. And this is indeed one thing you don't hear and read about in the German press uh, and in the media. And um, uh, the people there, the volunteers, they told us that uh, they found um, a, a lot of these stuff, these raw opium. And so it has to be allowed to ask the question, is this maybe the big, um, the big, a drug smuggling route uh, into Western Europe. Uh, this is one aspect uh, you don't hear about anything in, in our, our media. And the other thing is what the volunteers told us is, of course, it's only men, young men coming. And uh, sometimes they are very aggressive. And these uh, people who are uh, patrolling there, these volunteers are former mili military and they're veterans. And they are quite experienced, and uh, they saw that, um, and they say that there is a lot of ISIS um, men, ISIS warriors, and uh, uh, people who are sympathizing uh, with these ISIS people. So they, uh, because of the bombing of uh, Putin, of the Russian um, intervention in Syria, Normal Syrians don't come anymore, but these people from ISIS, they come and they enter um, uh, uh, Europe uh, via the Turkish-Bulgarian border. There was a lot of uh, German and Austrian and Northern European leftists that were going to Greece and were assisting illegals uh, crossing the mm -hmm. river. Did you yes. ever hear about charges being leveled against them? even though they were knowingly breaking the laws of multiple countries. 
No, nothing. Uh, um, no, we, we, we've heard nothing. And in my opinion, these people, these young people uh, who are financed by NGOs, um, mostly uh, uh, by the NGOs of uh, George Soros, um, these people, in my opinions, are murders because uh, they use these so-called refugees for their own purposes. And um, uh, there was this famous um, uh, coincidence when, uh, or this accident uh, when refugees were drunk in the river because uh, only for photographs and press and media they arranged uh, a, a, a drama in the river although only a few meters behind there was a bridge so they risked the life of people only for their own purpose only for their opinion uh, pushing uh, 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 impressions in the media. Yeah, it's, it's only a fairy tale because uh, we, we still hear the fairy tale of the, these refugees, but from uh, via uh, Turkey to uh, Bulgaria, there are no refugees. It's only young men. And uh, in my opinion, this is an... Uh, Islamic or Muslim economic model, which works well, because the best invest for a for a Muslim uh, family uh, in uh, Afghanistan or in uh, Iraq or even Syria is um, uh, the investment is the ticket for the uh, trafficker, for the smuggler. And if you have the, your ticket and you come uh, into, you can enter into uh, Europe. You go to Germany or Austria or Sweden, and then you will have so much social benefits. Um, they are so high um, that you would never, this young man would never earn that much um, in his own country by working. So this is, um, this is a kind of uh, economic uh, model for the Islamic world, um, which works quite well. <laughs> uh, border protection is one thing, uh, 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 it, but it has two dimensions, I think. The one uh, thing is real, the real protection, just showing face over there, because uh, if the people are there, if the men are there in the woods, uh, um, uh, it will stop this uh, flow of, of uh, um, uh, invaders. I don't want to, to, uh, to name them uh, refugees. Uh, and the other thing, the other aspect is uh, that you are connecting. Uh, Europeans have to connect. Uh, they have to unite uh, to, uh, in order to help each other. So, first of all, we have to protect our, our um, uh, borders around Europe. And then we have to uh, help and to protect uh, our our own borders, and we have to um, create more pressure, especially on the German government, especially on our Chancellor Merkel, who invited uh, uh, all these people into Europe, to change our asylum law. Because a law is nothing which falls down from heaven, uh, because law is something which has to uh, serve uh, the population, the civiliza uh, the population of a nation, of a country. So if an our asylum law was created after the Second World War and they had in mind only few, few numbers, um, I, 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 th I think it was uh, 1,500 or even 2,000 in a year. But right now, our old asylum uh, law doesn't work for these uh, constant migrant flow, this global constant migrant flow. And if you, we ha don't have the problem only with the Islamic states, we have it with Africa. So if you look at the numbers, the scientific numbers, there are 500, um, 540 million people in the next year uh, who want to migrate. So, uh, this is a catastrophe, and if we don't, um, if we don't secure our borders now, if we don't build our fortress Europe, 
Europe is gone. Europe will die. Yes, they cheated. Uh, um, and it's on the, I think it's on the 2nd of October. Um, uh, there's um, um, the um, repetition of the, the, these election. Yes. Uh, what uh, do they know? Yes. Um, I think um, uh, this is a bad thing, but I think uh, be aware of um, and um, t uh, be aware of the Germans right now, because I think we have um, tendencies of new fascism in Germany, um, especially from the left, and there is a uh, uh, violence, uh, the level of violence is increasing very much and um, uh, send your international uh, watchers to um, uh, inform yourself what is going on in Germany right now. But the, the main problem is not, um, uh, the main problem in my opinion is uh, that we are living in narcissistic uh, societies, it's uh, uh, mostly uh, uh, about narcissism. Uh, you have to have uh, on the right side, and um, um, this is um, a, a big, big problem in, I think, all Western societies right now. So you, you cannot debate anymore, there's no dialogue uh, possible, uh, and um, yeah, this, is, um, this will be uh, the biggest problem to solve.